Welcome to I Click and Print. This demo will show you how to print photos with the photo paper application without layering. Currently, the smallest size photo you can print using the photo paper application is 8.5 by 11. You can use an 8.5 by 11 sheet to print sets of 4 by 6 photos as well as other specialty photos. If you wish to print directly on cards of 4 by 6 photo paper, please use the stationary application located in the I Click and Print menu. We will start by demonstrating how to print on a full-size 8.5 by 11 sheet of photo paper. Then we will demonstrate how to use some 8.5 by 11 templates. The background you see represents your full sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. Import your photos using the Add Image icon. Select the appropriate file from your computer and then click Open. You can adjust the size and position of any image by simply dragging and dropping. If you want, you can adjust the width and height of your photo. However, we recommend that you try and stay as close to the natural proportions as possible. Drag your photo down to fill the entire 8.5 by 11 sheet. This is all you need to do if you want to print a full-size 8.5 by 11 photo. Take a look at the Choose Layers menu at the bottom of the screen. If we wanted to print a poster, but the paper was too big for our printer, we could use the layering application to help us. However, since we are printing on standard size 8.5 by 11 photo paper, we don't need layers. So, simply select Print Without Layers. Then, click the Print icon in the top right corner of the screen. When the print file is finished, click Open PDF. In the Print menu, go into Properties to set up your printer for photo printing. If your printer has specific settings for photo printing, set them now. Be sure to select Borderless Printing if you do not want white borders around your photo. Make sure that the size of the photo is correct, and also make sure that the orientation is the way you want it. Borderless photo settings vary by printer, but in most cases you can find it in the Paper Quality tab. When you've made all the adjustments necessary, click Print. Be sure to save your project using the Save icon if you want to print more photos later. Next, we will create a set of 4x6 photos on 8.5x11 paper. The collection of 8.5x11 photo templates is located in the backgrounds menu under Photo Paper and 8.5x11 Photo Guidelines. Here, you can make a variety of specialty photos. Select the appropriate background for your project. With this template, you can see that you can print three 4x6 photos on a sheet of 8.5x11 photo paper. Use the horizontal and vertical buttons in the top navigation bar to flip around your page. Select a 4x6 photo. Drag and resize your photo to fit within the guidelines. If your photo does not fit perfectly, you can drag it slightly over the guidelines and then cut off the excess after you print. Continue adding your photos. Flip the page back to its original position by using the vertical button.
Once again, add the last photo. If you wish to create a set of three of the same photos, you can do so simply by copy and pasting. Select the desired photo and then click copy and paste. In order to rotate a photo, you will see a rotation icon on the side of the photo. Simply drag and drop it to the correct position. When ready, click Print. Even though you're technically printing 4x6 photos, make sure to select the paper size as 8.5x11 photo paper and the page orientation as portrait. Now you are ready to print your 4x6 photos. In this final example, we will be printing wallet photos using a sheet of 8.5x11 paper. The template for wallet photos is located under 8.5 by 11 photo guidelines. As you can see, a sheet of 8.5 by 11 photo paper has enough space for nine wallet photos. Import your photo, resize it to fit the guidelines of one of the boxes, and then copy it into the rest of the boxes. When you are finished copying all of your photos, you can fine-tune the position of them by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Any of the template backgrounds on 8.5 by 11 paper can be printed using the same methods as outlined earlier in the demo. When you next log into iClick and Print, you can access your saved projects using the Save Template button. Thanks for using iClick and Print. Please contact our customer service team if there's anything you need assistance with.